Julia, I know you. You can pretend with everybody else, but Jesus loves you. And he, he wouldn't want you to be in this bad relationship that you're okay, in. Okay, stop. I already told you I'm not taking any of your Jesus juice, and I'm not drinking any of the Kool-Aid. So thank you, but Smiley loves me. Okay, well, I'm still here for you. Okay, because I'll definitely be needing you. What is her problem? Ever since she got saved, she thinks God tells her everybody's problems because she's a survivor. Survivor of what? Well, remember last year after Thanksgiving break when she's out longer than everybody else? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember. Well, her baby daddy Marco is beating that ass on the regular and nobody knew. Wait, Marco Young? You mean the little towel boy from the football team? Man, we used to beat him up all the time. I can't believe that. Besides, Danny would have beat his ass anyway. Yeah, well one Sunday she went to church and testified about how long he verbally and physically abused her. No way, she's older than him. Yeah, well she said once the verbal abuse became more normal, one night he raped her and she got pregnant. She made it through the pregnancy and had twin boys, but three months later, one of them died. Dang, that's pretty sad. That's gonna be you. Wow, I didn't think that that could happen to anybody. I just kind of thought she was some crazy Jesus freak. Well, now you know why. God helped her through all that, and she's only 16. Okay, I've had enough of this morbid depression. Moving on. So did you guys watch the game last night? Yeah. Oh my dude. Hey. Man, I was just talking about the game. Oh really? What were you saying? Oh, um, just how you dropped the ball on the second yard line. It almost cost us the game, and then I had to go and save us. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Jay, let's roll out. Why, we were talking about something. I said let's go. I got stuff to do. Didn't I tell you not to question me? You know you're not smart enough to have a conversation with intelligent people. I'm sorry. Shut the hell up. You were laughing at me? You were up in the stands half naked with dudes looking at you. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to go home and then change and then make you mad again. You always make me mad. You're stupid, just like your stupid mama. Keep it up, you won't be able to keep a man either. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. You'd be sorry if it wasn't for me. I'm sorry, okay? I love you. Mila, get to class, everybody! I saw that. Saw what? That lie you just believed. Hey, Miss Heath. Hey, good afternoon. Hey. hey. Good afternoon. Hello, ladies. Hey. Hi, Hi John. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss T. Yes, ma'am. Since all the boys are at football practice, can I have some girl talk? That's a good idea. We should talk about the difference between the bad and the good relationships. Well, as you may or may not know, October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So, it is a good topic to discuss. Besides, today it's the topic of the rally, so I may as well get into some practice. Cool. So what do you do if your friend is in an abusive relationship and she thinks the way she's being treated is love? Wow. Okay. Right to the point, huh? All right. Um, first things first. Abuse is not love. And what are you, the love doctor, Lisa? I didn't say I was a doctor. Are you the dictionary.com for something that's undefinable? You don't know what love is. You just know. I didn't say I was a doctor. I'm saying when he, when a person hits another person and belittles them, yeah, that's not love. 
Well, you wouldn't know what love is because your ugly ass can't get a man. Therefore, you coming at Whoa, me. Whoa, ladies. This escalated quickly. Calm down, please. All right. So, let's just get to the heart of the matter, shall we? Lisa, what I hear you saying is you believe your friend is in an abusive relationship and does not recognize the characteristics of abuse. Am I right? Basically, yes. And Julia, you believe this is an intervention or an attack on your relationship. Exactly. All right. All right. So we've heard what love is not in your opinion or your experience what is love god miss t god god is love love is when people say nice things i think maybe love is when you hang out with someone you care about and you just feel close to them for me, love is doing something nice or helping me. It makes me feel nice. I can see that. How about you? Hmm. You know, I love giving and receiving great gifts. I mean, not just the expensive kinds, but the really meaningful ones, you know? Did you just ask us for expensive Christmas gifts? <laughs> Funny, Danielle. No. I just feel that everyone has a different expression of what love is. God is love, Miss T. There's only one God, therefore there's only one love. And you know, I agree. God is love. My personal opinion, I'm not trying to convert anyone. It's just that as human beings, we all have different expressions of that love. Let me tell you a personal story. I've got an announcement memo on my first day. You can skip it. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, quiet down, quiet down. All right, look, some of you may have heard it's National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And later today, we're going to have an assembly so that you guys can learn more about it. But what does that have to do with us? We love violence. We're in football. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Everybody take a knee. All right, look, guys. It's never right to put your hands on a female. If you're dating somebody, argument gets out of hand, gets heated up, it's always best just to walk away. It's wrong to put your hands on a female. And it can land you in prison. Secondly, if a female doesn't want to get down with you and you force her anyway, talking about her mouth was saying no while her body was saying yes, that's sexual assault. And that can land you in prison as well. Third and final point. Can we go now? We're going to be late for lunch. And it's Sit down. Sit down. Third point. You cannot slap, tap, or touch a female in a sexually inappropriate manner. If you see any of these scenarios playing out, it is your duty to say something. Because trust, females are speaking out. And they're not having any of this foolishness. Haven't y'all seen hashtag me too? I have, uh, uh, but I don't know what it means. So it's a hashtag that females are using to say that they've been sexually assaulted, harassed, or abused in some kind of way. Which means if that many females are saying something, then it's a whole lot of dudes that's out of control. I mean, Tony, what if your mom's? Or your sister? 
So please, please, guys, if you see something, say something. All right? Yes, sir. Sir. Yeah. All right. Y'all chill here till the bell rings, and I'll catch you guys at the assembly later. <clears throat> I was in an abusive relationship and it went on way longer.